Nicole, forgive me. Ugh. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and we're on another thrift store vintage toy hunt adventure. So we are uh, starting out today. At Goodwill, yo, Goody Will, McKinney, Texas. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? That came out kind of weird. <laughs> but hey, you know, you can't nail them. You can't nail them 100% of the time. Huh? Let's maybe try that again. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Yeah, that's a little better. All right, guys, let's head in here, keep our fingers crossed, and pray. Pray, pray, pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. We got a cart that's coming out. Looks like we got our Bucky's glass in here. Some peanuts glasses. Those are fun. I'm not gonna get them. I got enough glassware. All right, let's go check the shelves. Well, let's see. What do we got? We got this Jurassic world vehicle it's been a while since i've seen this guy i see him pop up in thrift stores every once in a while yeah that's gonna make somebody happy not me today though i'm not interested in it let's see what else do we got oh we got all these little shopkins look at these things a little shopping tree. How much do they want for this bag? Nine dollars for the bag. That doesn't seem too bad. I mean, I know these. Uh, Nicole collected these Shopkins. She still has several, like not just several, like dozens and dozens still on card. But she had a whole bunch. She would buy a card to keep and a card to open. But uh, I don't think she has one of these little Shopkin trees. Those are kind of cool. Um, probably gonna pass on it, but that would make a good flip for somebody. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Oh, it's a uh, Play-Doh. All right, what do we got over here? Any goodies on the shelf over here? Some Mickey D's toys. I I don't think I'm seeing much. Maybe, whoops, some die cast. Oh, that little Spider-Man toy is kind of cool. Got a little Snoopy plush. Oh, yeah, I remember these balls. These were kind of a thing for a while. We got lots of games and puzzles. Jigsaw, looks like an old jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, I ain't seeing anything over here either. It's like a Voltron mask. Oh, they got a big old bat bot back there. I think those are the same comic books we saw last time. And we got a little remote control bumper car. Some games. That's about it. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. We got busted at the Goody Wheel. Now we head over to old crappy Sam's Plaza Thrift to see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. Plaza Thrift, baby. Let's head in here and see if we can get us some vintage goodies. Oh, well, well, what do we got here in the glass case? Got a lot of 12 inch figures here. That general plasma chick. And the uh, Shaquille O'Neal figure still here. All right, let's go check the baggies. Well, the baggies look a little picked over. Look a little thinned out, but maybe we can still find something. Look at these Iron Man gloves. Looks like there's a Lego piece in there of some sort. 
don't know what this purple thing is. It looks like some sort of ship. Maybe a helicopter. There's an action figure, but he looks like he's just uh, a generic one, you know? Oh, there's a Spider-Man. I think this is one of those ones that have, oh yeah, see, he's like hollowed out in the back. I'm not sure what that is all about. Yeah, the bags are are weak. There's like nothing in them. Let's see if there's anything on the shelves. I feel like this Craptastic Sam's has not produced anything in a while. And I'm not even seeing anything on these shelves unless there's something down there around the corner. Here's a little Fisher Price clock. Usually I see the hands busted off of this. I wonder if this is an older one or a reproduction. Yeah, 2009. It's a good reproduction though. Look at this big old police unit back here. Man, that is some cheapy plastic. I'm picking that up. It's like super, super light. Police department actually has a little police officer in it. He doesn't really appear to <laughs> be for this vehicle. Right, we got this Imaginext Batmobile thing. Does this have a driver in it? I think it does. A pilot? Yes, it does. So that probably goes along with that uh, SWAT vehicle we saw over there. Oh, look at this. We got a <clears throat> we got a dark wing duck in there. That's kind of neat. And we got some Dalmatians. I like the dark wing duck though. He's only $2.99, so let's grab him. All right, well, we picked up a few scores, so let's jump in a car and do a little show and tell with them. All right, well, here's what they are. They're all banks, and uh, I believe they are all from the 90s. So we've got, uh, I think this is, uh, isn't this like Sebastian the Crab or something like that from The Little Mermaid? And then we've got the 101 Dalmatian family over here. Now these guys actually have like, they got some coinage left in them. I'm gonna have to open that up. Looks like it might be like a penny or something like that, but I'm gonna have to, who knows, that penny could be worth like, you know, $300 or something like that. So there are pennies out there in circulation that are worth a lot of money. Nicole was telling me about them the other day. Um, and then we've got the dark winged duck. So I thought he was, Pretty awesome, it's the whole reason I bought the bag. So I got the bag for three bucks. I mean, I could probably get $5 out of those, right? And then get Darkwing Duck for free. But am I really gonna end up listing these and selling these? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> probably not. They'll probably go in my next yard sale. But uh, yeah, I think he's neat and I'm gonna keep him for my collection. All right, it's time to hit up another goodie wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, we're here. Ah, the goodie wheel, baby. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage goodness. Man, it's been a little on the chillier side here in Tejas lately. It's like 58 degrees today, man, but I'm loving it. I love this kind of weather. I could do without the, the little drizzle of rain. I like cloudy skies, cool weather, crisp, clean feeling air. You know what I mean? I like the sunshine too, but that sun can be kind of hot, you know? <laughs> but uh, hey, by the way, guys, like I'm this close to breaking 200 pounds. I don't know if you remember, but I uh, was saying uh, just not that long ago, like a few weeks back, I was 224 pounds. And uh, 
this morning I jumped on the scale and weighed in at 200.6. So I'm about to see those 190s any day now, as long as I don't blow it. But um, yeah, man, I feel better. I feel like I look a little better, you know? It's uh, feeling good overall. And uh, the only thing I've done is I've done like intermittent fasting, which I wake up in the morning and I don't really have my first meal till about four or five o'clock. And then I have like a little window between like four o'clock and eight o'clock roughly that uh, I'll have, you know, a dinner and then like snack on some things and stuff like that. And then I stop eating after eight o'clock. And that's it and uh, it's actually been really easy like I don't feel hungry at all so anyway any of you guys looking to lose weight that's what I'm doing it's working for me it doesn't mean it necessarily work for you but it might if you want to try it but hey let's see what they got in here well let's see what the shelves can produce for us it's kind of a cool little pirate ship little army jeep it says uh, land forces. So here's another one. There we go. Now we got a little army going. Look at this. It's a Viking hat slash beer bong. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Got a cool little place set here for the cars, maybe. Oh, look at this! It's kind of like a, it's like a little microphone. They uh, took that from Masters of the Universe Snake Mountain. The, con the concept. All right, let's see what else do we got here. Look at the size of this thing. What the hell is that? <laughs> God. All right. Anything else? Got a wheelbarrow. How about over here in plush? Oh, there's a Woody and Bullseye. Let's see. Any other plushies? Oh, we got a strawberry shortcake. She got a little dirt on her chin though. Well, I ain't seeing nothing. What's this? Oh, it's like a big whale. Oh, here's an old Cabbage Patch Kid vehicle. $3.69. Part of me wants to get get that. Oh, there's some little alphabet letters in there. Made by Coleco, 1983. Oh my God, Nicole would kill me if I brought that home. I mean, I'm not even a Cabbage Patch person, but it's from the 80s and it's kind of cool. You know how I feel about 80s toys. 80s toys rock. Hmm. Well, one of these just sold on eBay for $30 with uh, 40. Well, one of these just sold on eBay for $29 with $28 shipping. So roughly 60 bucks. Somebody paid 60 bucks for it. Man. I could probably try listing it and selling it on Facebook Marketplace. It's only $4. So if, even if I bought it and listed it for like, you know, 30 bucks, someone would be getting a deal on it and I'd be making a little extra cash. Oh my God, Nicole will flip. But I gotta get it, it's too cool. <laughs> I bought it, I bought it, I couldn't resist it. Nicole, forgive me. It's just too cool. It's too cool, Nicole. I think I can sell it. I think I can sell it and use the money to get some action figures or something like that that I really want, some vintage toys, so. But uh, yeah, let's check this thing out real quick. So we got the Poppin' Train 1983 Cabbage Patch by Coleco. Coleco, man. 
So, uh, and I got some bonus little toys in there. Some alphabets. But, uh, how cool is that thing? It's gonna need a little cleaning up. But, uh, it'll make a nice display piece. That's for sure. It's unique. Different. I like, you know, different things. Things that are just, uh, eye-catching. And it's got these vibrant colors. The vibrant colors get me every time. We got the the bright blue, the bright green, the orange, the yellow, the little balls. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, it actually makes... So it makes like a little choo-choo sound too, plus the balls pop. That's cool. All right, we got us some 1983 vintage, baby. Up next, St. Vinny de Paul. Oh. We're at St. Vinny's. I uh, I normally would hit up the thrift store. It's just a place around here called the thrift store. I would normally hit that up, but they've been kind of weak the last few times I've been there. So I thought maybe I'd just give them a little bit of a rest. We can try St. Vinny's, maybe support your troops on the other side of the building. And then we'll finish up at Crappy Sam's today, the sister location here in Plano. So we still got still got a handful of stores to hit up. Let's see if we can find something good. What do we got here? We got some cap guns. Those are kind of cool. Uh, real cheapy ones. Those are not the good kind, that's for sure. What the heck is this thing? What is that? It looks like part dog, part rabbit. Hey, there's a cabbage patch kid to go on our cabbage patch vehicle yeah what's, what's that noise oh, there's something weird back there but uh yeah i won't be getting her today but i just thought it was interesting that we find the cabbage patch vehicle then we find a cabbage patch doll right, here is some more dalmatian mcdonald's toys bag of blocks Goopasaurus must be like slime or something like that in there on this thing. This thing was like $24.99 and now they've got it for $5.99. I wonder if it's because it doesn't work. I'll have to maybe plug it in and see. Damn, look at this like RCA video cassette VHS recorder. Holy cow, that is a monster. <laughs> thing is huge. It's got so many buttons. What do we need all these buttons for? Oh, I found a power strip. It looks like the play button works. The rewind button works. But the fast forward button. Doesn't work. It like, it's like stuck. The jack works. Yeah, that's probably why they reduced it to $5.99. Because that fast forward obviously doesn't work. That sucks. Oh, this Rick and Morty soup bowl. I think it's a soup bowl. That's kind of cool. I actually like that show. It's uh, definitely adult oriented, but it's kind of a fun show. All right, well, what's this thing here? A little miniature beer stein made in Germany. All right, we got busted. All right, let's go hit up support your troops next. All right. Well, we're here, and uh, I think the last time I was here, I found a, uh, like a 1993 10-inch tall Bruce Wayne, uh, I'm sorry, not Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton 
Batman. He didn't have any articulation or anything like that, but he was definitely 90s and he was pretty cool. And uh, I think I got him for two dollars or something like that. So hopefully we can find something else cool in here today. Oh, what's that, uh, what was that like a little telephone? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an old telephone. Um, looks like we got some older Mickey D's toys in here too. Back when old Ronnie McDonald used to be part of their brand. Oh, look at this thing. Exact egg timer. Hard, medium, soft. Wonder how that works. It's interesting. It's old, that's for sure. What do we got here? The claw. That looks old, doesn't it? I wonder how old that is. Is there a year on this? What's well, made by Kenner? 1991. All right, I think we're gonna pick that up. He only went three dollars for that, but that thing is pretty badass. I love the yellow and pink colors on it. All right, guys, we got us some vintage 90s. That is awesome. The claw. When it gets out, nothing gets in its way. Nothing. The claw fights back with wheel splitting reaction traction. Challenge the claw, it gets fierce. Reaction traction gives the claw the power to beat the toughest roadblocks. It can take on anything. Even the unexpected is no match for the claw. Batteries not included. Hey, it goes where it wants. We got this old Space Jam plush of Taz. Little bag of dinosaurs. Maybe like some sort of frisbee. Oh, it looks like we might have a possible vintage Mickey here as well. Man, how cool is this thing, huh? Check it out. The uh, the tires actually come apart. Uh, it reminds me of a, uh, uh, a truck that was kind of popular in the 80s when I was a kid. It was called, um, what was it called? The Animal. And the, uh, the tires would pop open and these big claws would come out. Where did I park my home? Right here. <laughs> but these big claws would come out and then it was like, you know, the commercial was like, hey, you can crawl over anything. Anything stop the animal. The animal. It's a big, powerful four by four. But when the going gets tough, it bears its claws to climb over things that get in its way. The animal. The animal. Can anything stop the animal? The animal clawing its way to the top. The animal each sold separately. Batteries not included. New from Galoob. You know, but it was like, it was cool. So this is what, that's what that kind of reminds me of. I just hope it works. I got to put some batteries in it. Batteries go right here in the front where that little lid is popped open. But yeah, I love it, man. I think it's super cool. All right, let's go hit up Crappy Sam's and finish strong. All right, here we go. The rain just picked up. Fingers crossed. Let's end this like a boss. Oh look, we got a, we got Toad. We just saw the Mario movie yesterday. Great movie, we loved it. There's some Pokemon, some more Mario, but I'm not really seeing anything else. Let's go check the shelves. All right. Well, we got a Kylo Ren over here. Looks like he's missing his saber. And we've got part of the Mandalorian ship. Well, maybe we can find something in these bags. Oh, 
What do we got here? Something Marvel. There's a uh, Captain America. Looks like a Transformer there in the bag. A little cheapy Dollar Tree soldier. There's like another like Optimus Prime, some die cast. Hey, it's part of our boy Buzz. And this is a bag of dinos. Oh, there's a robot Pluto from Disney. Mickey Mouse's dog. Oh my God, look at this weird looking horse. Oh, he's missing his, missing his snout. <laughs> That's why he looks so weird. Oh, this castle's still here. It's a neat little play set. I thought someone might have bought it by now. What's this? Doggy Dooley. I guess you pick up your dog crap with it, huh? Uh, keep lawn and play area clean and sanitary. It looks old. All right, gang. Well, we got busted at our last stop of the day, but we had fun today. Man, that claw truck looks awesome. I can't wait to go home and try it out. See if I get some batteries put in it, you know? Uh, it would be cool to see it run through the house, you know? <laughs> Speaking of uh, running through the house, I'm going to have to run through the house with that that cabbage patch vehicle or hide it in the garage somewhere so Nicole doesn't see it she's gonna be like oh my god she even said it the other day she was like oh my god she's like I'm seeing more stuff start to come in I gotta get it under control guys I can't let it get out of hand like last time but man when I see 80s toys I just can't resist 80s and 90s so but hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash the like button it helps me out. It does help my channel grow, man. I'm all wet. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.